In case you're just joining us, I'm talking right now with Sherry Sweet Tea. She is the creator of Cosmo the Boat Cat. You can see images from the book behind us. Sherry, let's talk about Cosmo for a minute. Okay. Now, is Cosmo a real cat? Yes, Cosmo is my real cat. He moved here to Kentucky with me. Mm -hmm. It was just me and Cosmo and my Mazda Miata, and we drove the 22 hours from <laughs> Lexington, Kentucky to Key West, Florida, and mm -hmm. yes, he's my constant companion. And okay. Yes. Wonderful. So mm -hmm. now, what inspired you to create a story with Cosmo? Well, Cosmo and I lived on a houseboat, and uh, just watching this cat, mm -hmm. like, uh, explore his environment and watch the fish and watch the birds and he was constantly always entertained because there's a cat on the water right mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Cosmo doesn't like getting wet anyway I mean, he doesn't <laughs> like getting his feet wet I mean he's just like no you know mm -hmm. I'll play with it I'll bat it around in the faucet but no I don't like the water I don't mm -hmm. want to get my tuxedo wet you know I'm just too good for all this uh -huh, you know uh -huh. but uh, anyway one day uh, uh, on the back deck we were sitting there and he was watching this little green heron, Harvey the heron is his name. Mm -hmm. And he was you know, just focused in on Harvey. And I think it was, it was right at dusk, so I think he forgot that maybe the water was there or something, but Harvey kept getting closer and closer to Cosmo, mm -hmm. and Cosmo was crouched down, you know, watching him intently. And then all of a sudden he just took off and jumped off after him. <laughs> and so Harvey flew away, but there was Cosmo in the water. Oh, no. And of course he was terrified. <laughs> and he made this horrible sound. He sounded like an old Ford model you know, T car <laughs> horn, you know, ooh, ooh, but whatever. <laughs> but anyway, so we rescued him. And that was my aha moment because I thought, oh my God, he ends up in the water, mm -hmm. but he gets saved by a loggerhead turtle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the turtle says, hey, little buddy, you want to go on an adventure and discover your new backyard, the ocean, and the coral reef? And Cosmo was like, sure, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> so basically, it's kind of the parallel of this is that you have to have courage to make a move. Mm -hmm. And that's what Cosmo and I did when we moved here from Kentucky because we didn't really know anybody here and we were starting a life over. Mm -hmm. So it takes courage. So that's what I'm trying to teach kids. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to take that step. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to explore those new horizons because you will learn something and you'll make new friends. Mm -hmm. And that'll build your confidence. And then you'll be ready for the next adventure. Right. So sometimes you have to get over that fear. Mm -hmm. You've got to have that courage. Mm -hmm. And then um, also in the story, uh, being that it's an ocean environment, I'm introducing kids to like the manatee, the dolphin, uh, the spotted eagle ray, you know, in, in my illustrations. Mm -hmm. um, and therefore, just trying to educate kids on what, you know, what, um, what the sea life and so mm -hmm. on is here in, in the Florida Keys. And well, everywhere because mm -hmm. Cosmo will go on other adventures, and then mm -hmm. maybe you'll make an otter friend, you know, mm -hmm. off mm -hmm. the coast of California right. or whatever. But um, but anyway, that that was my goal is mm -hmm. so that kids could be introduced to the sea life, mm -hmm. and then um, they could learn a very important lesson about our coral reef mm -hmm. uh, because. Cosmo gets so excited about all the colors and it's so beautiful mm -hmm. just like we all do when we're snorkeling right. we just really want to get down there and like you know touch things or mm -hmm. you know explore it all and so I explain to kids in the book that you can't touch it because mm -hmm. if you touch it it'll die. There, that's a good that's a good lesson yeah. it sounds like adults can learn <laughs> from Cosmo as well. Exactly. Sherry could you read you uh -huh. know, uh, give I'll us a happy quick preview of the book. Cosmo the book cat I'll just start at the beginning and then I'll just get to a point where I'll just stop. So, but um, Cosmo the cat always wore a tuxedo with a red tie. He lived happily in a house and he never asked why or what was beyond his big front door. Sleeping all day long, he never wanted for more. But over the fence and beyond the trees, Cosmo would soon find out about the big blue sea. Change was coming for Cosmo an amazing change of scene, a dazzling new home he could not picture in a dream. Melody announced as she burst through the door, we're gonna make a change, Cosmo, we're doing it for sure. Off to the ocean, above the fishes we'll float. We're off to the sea, Cosmo, we'll live on a houseboat. Oh no, Cosmo whimpered just a little, then he started to cry. Cats don't like water, he yelped with a sniffle and a sigh. Melody scooped him up and dried his cat tears. Outside these doors, there's nothing to fear. I know you're not sure, Cosmo. 
I can see it on your face. But living on the ocean is like no other place. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, Sherry, where could people pick up this book if they're interested? Oh, uh, I've got a new shipment coming in September 24th, so we're going to be back in all the stores. We're going to be at um, um, the Toy Factory mm -hmm. and uh, Green World Gallery, the Coffee Plantation. We'll be up the Keys at Chica Lodge. We'll mm -hmm. be at the Lighthouse Gift Stop. A gift shop, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. and, um, but we'll be in locations all over town. Okay. Um, and, um, and then, hopefully, um, I'm working with some animators, and mm -hmm. so now we're working on making Cosmo a licensed product. Oh, so, that, so that's what's next mm -hmm, for Cosmo. That's what's next, yeah. Okay. Making him a licensed product and then going on to the second book and then designing Cosmo so, and his friends. So that they can be birthday Cosmo and friends, Valentine birthday Cosmo and friends, <laughs> Christmas birthday Valentine. And I will have to say, in the second story, we have new characters coming. There's Leo the Morky from New Yorkie, who's a little Morky dog, <laughs> my daughter's dog actually, so I have to use him. <laughs> and then we have, I'm putting me in an Osprey mm -hmm. and a Pelican, mm -hmm. and then we have an evil villain. Okay. Well, this <laughs> sounds exciting. And again, I think adults can learn from Cosmo as well. Yeah. Sherry, thank you for being here. Oh, on thank the show you, this Jenna. It was so fun. All of this. For more information on Sherry, you can check out her website or contact her by calling the number on the bottom of the screen. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.